We all know that the Model Y has been Tesla's most successful car for the mass market up until now, and as of the latest update, in the second quarter of 2024, Tesla has absolutely crushed it by delivering around 444,000 vehicles, with 95% of those being Model Y and Model 3. Now, Tesla is gearing up to blow our minds with the upgraded Model Y Juniper, promising some seriously exciting improvements. So, without further ado, let's dive into all the juicy details we have so far about this sensational new model and what makes it so darn special. Exterior and Interior Redesign According to Inside EV, one of the main changes expected in the Model Y Juniper is an exterior redesign. The media outlet anticipates that Tesla will give the revised Model Y a similar exterior makeover to the refreshed Model 3, featuring a completely new face with slimmer, more modern-looking headlights that replace the upturned nose. The rear lights and bumper are also expected to be updated to match the Model 3 Highland, giving the Juniper a more aggressive bumper akin to the new Model 3 performance. Next up is some change that comes to the wheel. Tesla has a history of revising wheel designs with each model refresh, and the Model Y Juniper is surely to follow this trend. While the wheel sizes will remain the same, improvements in the wheel's appearance and aero performance are anticipated. For instance, the refreshed Model 3 saw a reduction in its drag coefficient from 0.23 to 0.219, and it is probable that the Juniper will benefit from similar advancements. Right now, all Model Y trims have a drag coefficient of 0.23, but the car can feel bulky, with even the performance trims taking 3.5 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, with rollout subtracted. In contrast, the 2024 Model 3 performance can achieve the same feat in only 2.9 seconds. So it will be exciting to see Tesla's efforts to improve the ride quality of the Model Y. The numbers on paper are about 510 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, and a top speed of 163 miles an hour. Now, let's move on to the interior. Tesla has already equipped Model Ys manufactured in China with the same RGB ambient lighting found in the updated Model 3. The wood trim on the dashboard has been replaced with the same textile material used in the sedan. With the Juniper update, these changes will be complemented by a redesigned center console. A center console part, believed to belong to the Model Y Juniper, has been leaked. According to the leaker, it is a refreshed Model Y accessory image leaked from Tesla's supplier in China. As you can see, the interior design strongly resembles that of the Model 3 Highland Edition, especially noticeable in the hidden cup holder compartments with sliding drawers. However, there are some new touches, like the chrome border around the wireless charging pad, which differs slightly from the wireless charger in the Model 3. Another interesting aspect of the Model Y Juniper is the incorporation of state-of-the-art features from the Model 3 Highland, such as ventilated seats and a rear screen. These small details make a big difference in the driving experience and demonstrating Tesla's commitment to user comfort and convenience. So it will be such a pity if Model Y Juniper does not have it. But here comes the biggest change to the Juniper. The completely new steering wheel, borrowed from the Highland. Just like in the Model 3, Tesla will eliminate the stalks behind the steering wheel and relocate more functions to the steering wheel itself. Retaining physical controls for turn signals, lights, wipers and the voice assistant. Better ride quality. Beyond the visuals, the ride quality of the Model Y Juniper is expected to see significant improvements. The updated Model 3 saw a dramatic enhancement in ride comfort due to a completely revised suspension system. This transformed it into a much more comfortable car. Considering that the current Model Y can feel quite stiff and sometimes unpleasant on less than ideal roads, we anticipate it will also receive a softened suspension with more emphasis on cushioning occupants and isolating them from road imperfections. To get a better understanding of the old Model Y's ride quality, let's take a look at Jeebs's opinion on the matter. Tesla Model Y long range certainly rides stiffer than it should. The performance model should ride stiff. Its performance model has larger wheels, has stiffer springs. That's expected to ride stiffer. Another thing Tesla has done to improve the ride quality of Model Y Juniper, as well as other future Tesla cars, is the incorporation of more advanced full self-driving hardware. Soon this year, Tesla is upgrading its Model Y in China. 
equipped this car model with Hardware 4, which offers several advancements over the current units. One of the key improvements in Hardware 4 is its streamlined design. The infotainment GPU is now integrated on the same board as the FSD chips, eliminating the daughter board used in Hardware 3. This redesign makes the entire unit thinner and more efficient. Hardware 4 continues to use 256GB of NVMe storage, 16GB of RAM, and the same AMD CPU and GPU as its predecessor. The FSD computer in Hardware 4 also brings some changes to the sensor suite. It includes 12 camera connectors, with one labelled as Spare. The new setup features 11 cameras, including a cabin camera humorously named Selfie. The markings indicate that the cars will have three additional cameras in the front, providing a more comprehensive view of the vehicle's surroundings. Additionally, Hardware 4 includes a tri-band GPS module, which offers more accurate positioning in densely built areas. It also features the previously rumoured Phoenix radar, complete with a radar heater. These two additions to the sensor package represent the most significant differences compared to Hardware 3. However, despite the many new features, Hardware 4 didn't prove to be as revolutionary as people had hoped, prompting Tesla to develop a brand new hardware platform. One issue was that the HD radar included in Hardware 4 was never actually used by Tesla. Another significant problem was the lack of processing power to handle the much larger datasets. Although Hardware 4 includes higher resolution cameras, approximately four to five times better in terms of resolution and fidelity than those in Hardware 3, and is about three to some five times faster and more powerful in inference capabilities, Tesla chose to downsize the images to run on the same neural network models designed for Hardware 3. Currently, Hardware 4 operates in emulation mode for Hardware 3. As a result, Hardware 4 is very similar to Hardware 3 in practical terms. This similarity explains why Elon Musk and Tesla have decided to start from scratch with Hardware 5. Hardware 3, so, but, but everything you're seeing thus far is just Hardware 3, and we still have a long way to go before we, get, we reach the limits of Hardware 3. So Hardware 3, I think, will, will still will do amazing things, but, but Hardware 4, I think, will probably do uh, about five times better. Um, then Hardware 5, which comes out in about 18 months or so, is 10 times more capable than Hardware 4. So, with the new hardware set to arrive in 18 months, and the massive amount of driver data processed through an end-to-end -end neural network, achieving real full self-driving seems just a matter of time for Tesla. This capability will be a major selling point for the Model Y Juniper and other Tesla cars in the near future. Even Elon Musk has acknowledged that Tesla still needs time to fully understand the capabilities of their FSD system. In fact, we're, not even, we're still exploring the boundaries of its capabilities. Uh, we were able to run the cameras at full frame rate, full resolution, uh, not even crop the images, and uh, it's still got headroom even on one of the, the systems. Elon Musk has been actively promoting the mass adoption of the FSD system. A notable event this year was Musk's visit to China, where he met with high-ranking government officials to discuss the deployment of Tesla's full self-driving software and seek permission to transfer data overseas. This data transfer is crucial for training algorithms that will further enhance Tesla's autonomous driving technology. Fortunately, they secured a deal. Tesla even struck a partnership with Baidu for navigation maps in China. According to a report from Shanghai Securities News, a Baidu executive mentioned that the company is looking to utilize Tesla's upcoming robo-taxi, which promises to offer level 5 autonomous driving. Battery change. Now let's talk about one of the most exciting parts, the battery. There have been many rumors about the best battery for the Model Y Juniper, but at the end of the day, only two battery types have the best chance of being integrated into the Model Y Juniper. First is KATL's new Shenxing Plus battery, which we've discussed many times on this channel. This battery boasts an energy density of 205 watt-hour per kilogram and can provide a real-world range of over 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles. It also supports ultra-fast charging, offering a 600-kilometer range in just 10 minutes of charge. Even in low temperatures, it takes only 30 minutes, matching the charging speed of most current EVs. 
In addition to its performance, the competitive pricing of the Shengxing Plus battery is a decisive factor. As the world's largest producer of EV batteries, KTL has announced plans to slash the cost of its batteries by up to 50% this year as part of a price war with China's second largest maker, BYD subsidiary Fin Dreams. This significant reduction in battery costs could make EVs using KTL sourced batteries much cheaper. This is great news, as batteries currently account for about 28% of an EV's price on average, according to Statista. The second option for the Model Y Juniper is Tesla's self-developed 4680 battery. I recently made a video covering every update about this 4680 battery, so be sure to check that out. Here's a quick summary. The 4680 Gen 2 features changes in both the cathode and anode, relying on NCMA, nickel-cobalt-manganese-aluminum chemistry, and this can increase the stability as well as lifespan and energy density of the cells. In addition to the NCMA chemistry, Tesla is reportedly working to incorporate an NMC955 cathode chemistry into their 40C80 batteries, replacing the current NMC811 cathode chemistry. Tesla is also experimenting with asymmetric lamination, where one side of the material is thicker than the other. This innovative approach aims to increase the capacity of the battery jelly roll that fits into the 4680 can, potentially leading to higher energy density and improved overall battery performance. And that wraps up today's video about the Tesla Model Y Juniper. Production is expected to start first at Giga Shanghai from mid-2025, followed by North America, mirroring the strategy Tesla employed with the refreshed Model 3. Producing the Juniper at Giga Shanghai makes perfect sense, as this factory is one of the most advanced in the world, boasting a 95% automated production line and a cycle time of less than 40 seconds. Regarding the price, I've already made another video breaking down the costs of the Model Y Juniper, so take your time to watch that and prepare your budget. In short, you will need to pay about $41,000 to own a Model Y Juniper. So what do you think about these updates? Are you excited to see the Model Y Juniper on the roads? And how do you believe they will shape the future of electric vehicles? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. The discussion is open, so don't be shy. For now, goodbye, and we will see you in the next episode.